what does Confucius have to do with the Bible? I do not know. Welcome, this is Naaman Air 5. And, well, we're, we're let's playing the U Testament. Well, more of a walkthrough, exactly. And I'm going to show you how to, well, get through this game. And, well, this game kind of has trouble recording, but... Okay, anyway... You can start as default, random, or inherited characters. And we had to skip ahead because... For some reason, perhaps decided to stop recording. start out with a very pretty small character possibly not the smallest but and we're gonna make probably the most craziest character why because well I want to well you see there's like many choices software, I don't know. Well, see it in game. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this is pre-recorded. bad as it looks. Basically, it's a Christian game, if you can call it that. Where you go around following Jesus, listening to his um, lectures and all that. And... I don't know. Um, I beat this game before, and of course, my previous character you price saw in the game over bed. My second one. He was the character I actually completed the game with. And of course, he, since he's since uh, he died, my whole sca save game got wiped. Yes, if you die in this game, your save game gets wiped. And let's just read this. If you want to read the story, just read the story. I'm not going to act it out and everything because this whole preview things out of sync. Camtasia sucks. Well, anyway. I don't even know where I'm at on that preview. Okay, it says... Okay, I sit there like a filthy beggar. I mean, I don't even know if I'm even... if it's there or not. But the text goes pretty slow unless you're holding the enter key. And well, we'll talk more about this. We'll talk more about the game mechanics later on when you're in the when we're in the desert. And we probably just kicked um on Jesus. And he's telling us, touch me again, I'll kill you. Okay, we're probably getting close to the desert. Anyway. Now we're in the desert. Maybe this is a good time to start to explain the, the bars. The, the, the heart bar. The bar that has the green meter, that's your health bar. That goes all the way down to zero, 
you'll possibly die. And when that happens, and if you don't f well, find a way to reincarnate yourself, self before the game over transition ends, your save game's wiped. And then there's also the middle bar that has a brain and, a, and, and it's a blue bar. If um, that goes all the way down, you go insane. That's your sanity bar. If you're, if you're while well, you're insane, you can't control your character, and you'll go around beating up everybody, and that might get you into into great trouble. And the bar, and the further in bar, the bar with the little blue flame thing, that is your spiritual bar. But that is um, but there's no, nothing really wrong if that goes all the way down. But you, but I'll tell you more about that later. Okay, well, I'm gonna go for and stop this recording right now. Let's see. Okay, I'm back, and and after beating up Jesus and taking his cane and all that, we're going to go for and follow where we gotta go next. Oh yeah, on the map, um, there's a there's there's like a cross. If you gotta go for and head to that location next. That's what that means. And yeah, there's a there's a lead pipe in this game. I don't know how are there I do not know how there are lead pipes in this day and age. Yeah, this game is very historical accurate indeed. About as um, accurate as the the quotes and the loading screens. I mean, what did they have to? I mean, most of them don't even have anything to do with Christianity, or pretty much anything that has to do with the game at all. Anyway, let's go over and follow the story. Alright, that's. Uh, I guess that'll be it for this bit. Let's go hit Jesus with a cane and let's um, continue on with our um, little adventure. But we'll have to end this video for right now. See you next vid. Hopefully. Probably won't be using my voice, maybe. I don't know. <laughs>